Okay, continuing on. But his appeal to the anti-government new right is palpable. New right. Big government kills. Big government enslaves. Big government destroys. And uh, big government annihilates the individual. That's uh, 100% true. Big government does do all those things, Chris Matthews. Big government does do all those things. They always have throughout histories. Who are you trying to fool? Your 500,000 brainwashed listeners or watchers or whatever? It's extreme talk. But isn't that different from the team and the politicians now railing against big government? The solution is not more government control. The solution is less government control. Big government's not your friend because big government causes recessions. Big government spends your money and takes it away from you and you have less to save for your family. Will this rage on the right help win elections, or will it scare off voters? We will all know more in the fall with the voter react. There's another buzzword, rage on the right, rage. Again, please show me an example of violence. Please show me all these examples of violence, Chris Matthews. So far you showed me a brick going into a window. A brick going into a window that anybody could have done. ...to this new range of voices from center right to far right. The Tea Party, the Birthers, the Patriot Groups, and the Militias. But the new right, as we have seen, may not be satisfied with the election of office holders a few notches to the right. Increasingly, the anger on the right is stirred not just by a particular political party, the Democrats, but by the federal government itself and anyone who's part of it. To some on the right, and not only those who wear military garb on weekend training exercises... Again, he keeps going on and on and on and on and on about the right, right, right. He wants to put you all on the right. He wants to put you... Put you all in one category with Sarah Palin and Beck and Hannity and O'Reilly and Rush Limbaugh, which all them people are fake. They're not patriots. Uh, you know, there's plenty of people on the left, plenty of people on the left that Chris Matthews will not tell you about that agree with with 80. If it's above 50, they agree with above 50 percent of what these people are talking about. They don't want huge government either. They want constitutional government. And then they disagree. Real constitutionalist Democrats or left wing, whatever you want to call them, they want constitutional Democrats that vary on issues slightly. They don't want extreme left like you got now throughout the media and throughout the movies and TV shows and schools. Washington itself is viewed as a remote, even foreign capital. The elected government uh, pretty much is a remote and foreign capital. Nobody there obeys their oath. And it trickles all the way down to your local police officer. And you keep pushing and you keep breaking the law, which you are breaking the law. And you are putting this stuff forward, not us. You're treading on us. That's the whole point. Now, there is a tyrannical menace. Those who work in it as agents of a hostile force, busily preying on their freedoms. Throughout our history, we've disagreed passionately over the role of the federal government and of our country's role in the world. But Throughout the, 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 what do you say, decades, we've disagreed on the role of the federal, federal government. The role of the federal government is outlined, I think it's uh, Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution. There really isn't too much to argue about, Chris. It's outlined. They have like three major responsibilities. That's it. We are generally a pragmatic people, not given to ideological extremes. What's scary today is the language being thrown about. Words have consequences. Oh, language, all that free speech being thrown about. But when you get up and spew that shit out of your mouth, it's okay, right? You cannot call a president's policies un-American, as Sarah Palin has done, or refer to the elected government. Why can't you call the president's policies un-American? They're un-American. They're unconstitutional. That's the very definition of un-American. Why can't you call them what they are? Yes, you can call them un-American. And yes, you can call them unconstitutional. You're full of shit. As a regime, as Rush Limbaugh persists in doing, or the president... As uh, it is a regime. They're, are, they're using military-industrial complex to take over other countries, to occupy sovereign nations, to go to preemptive war, to uh, bomb uh, wedding parties, to go to war in Pakistan. I don't remember us deciding if we're going to go to war in Pakistan. 
the foreign usurper, as the birthers do, without giving license on some day to real trouble. Uh, the birthers are calling him a usurper. Uh, if he proves without a shadow of a doubt that he's a citizen, Chris, they would all shut up. Why don't he just show his long-form birth certificate and his records and uh, repeal the executive order he signed and shut us all up? Just shut us up. Show us the birth certificate and shut us all up. And that Hawaiian fake-ass bullshit certificate that you guys keep showing is not a long-form birth certificate. And you know it. It's not... Uh, that would not hold up as to a legal degree of certainty in a, in a constitutional courtroom. And you know it. This April was the 15th anniversary of Oklahoma City. It is well to consider what happens when people act on what they... Here we go, Oklahoma City. That was another inside job, Oklahoma City. Anyway, please, please go to my website, politicalwatchdog.com. Dog is spelled D-A-W-G. And go to the movies page and watch the documentary on Oklahoma City. It's towards the middle of the page. And they keep using it as if some crazy right-wing extremist, Timothy McVeigh, blew up a, a, a big, hard-target government building with some fertilizer. Come on, dude. Please go to the website and watch and see what really happened in Oklahoma City. I also have Waco on that page. I also have plenty of 9-11 documentaries on the page. Again, it's politicalwatchdog.com. And dog is spelled D-A-W-G. Go to the movies section, and I have plenty of movies in there that'll really wake you up. Here, when the hatred of our own elected government becomes explosive. I'm Chris Matthews. Thank you for watching. So there you go. Chris Matthews' uh, garbage hit piece on mixing Limbaugh with... Uh, Ron Paul mixing Beck with Alex Jones. I mean, Beck and Alex Jones are like arch enemies. Uh, somebody mentioned Alex Jones' name on Beck's show, and he, and he about shit his pants. He he was he lost he, his whole expression on his face changed. And my God, this is terrible. And what else? Chris, oh yeah, Chris Matthews, uh, his who he praises is people like Saul Alinsky and Bill Ayers. Now, Bill Ayers was a real homegrown terrorist, not the ones you keep talking about. He actually bombed the Pentagon. They actually had meetings, according to the FBI agent that was there, of uh, people sitting in a room saying they're going to put everyone in re-education camps that didn't agree with their new communists after they took over the government. And they actually said the ones that were too hardcore would actually have to be killed. And they were talking about 25 million people being killed. These are the, these are uh, Chris Matthews' buddies here, Bill Ayers and Saul Alinsky. And, uh, I mean, I don't know who else. I haven't really done a ton of research, but just listening to this guy, I couldn't stand it anymore. I had to, I had to post this. If you made it this far, again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, and I'll try to post more political-related stuff. Thanks. Bye.